lovelies welcome back to my channel i am back with another video after my week off which i can assure you was very very much needed uh and we are back with a new glitter and color of the week So in today's video I am going to introduce you to the colour of the week which is this beautiful uh, purple colour. This is Freya. Freya is from the Summer Taste the Rainbow collection. She is an absolutely stunning purple and I'm really really excited to do a design for you using her today. Now I've decided to keep this set quite a simple one and I'm taking inspiration from my own nails, which is a sneak peek of color of the week that's coming up in a couple of weeks. And I'm just gonna use Freya with some foils. So this is my little uh, foil book full of all the nail team foils. Um, I've got them all in their little, um, um, Set numbers. Um, I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to use a, a sort of a metallic -y foil or a iridescent foil or if I might mix and match the two. Uh, but I am going to use one of the uh, foils from here. Um, set 26 does actually have some purples in but I'm thinking I'm going to sort of do a bit of a mixed colour uh, and use this pink and purple and blue from set 20 something uh, set 22 and I might add a little bit of iridescent on top using one of the foils from one of my absolute favorite sets uh, from set uh, 11 which I actually used in a video last year. Uh, so, along with the foils, I will also use the Gems Foil Gel and also a little touch of Tina Top at the end to finish this design off. And it's gonna be super, super simple um, design. And it's one you would sort of be able to use with variety of colors not just the um, purple i am using in this design as shown by my own nails now as i did in the previous color of the week video i have talked through this introduction but i am going to voice over the rest of the video at the end purely because the cricket is on uh, and I cannot watch the cricket and film because my TV is in the wrong place. Uh, so the only way I can really know what's going on in the cricket and film at the same time is by having the volume on. So I'm going to get going with this set and I'm going to voice over afterwards. So, so let's have a closer look at the beautiful Freya. She is the most stunning deep bold purple so so pigmented and you're about to see just how pigmented uh, and I'm gonna start off by applying Freya to all of these nails uh, and I've kept this video oh video <laughs> I don't know why I've forgotten how to voice over after a week off. I've kept this video at a real time speed uh, just because it was quite a short video once I cut out all the curing time. So this is the first coat. Just look at the pigmentation and the coverage. Uh, this is one of those colours where if you are in a real rush and this is not something I ever recommend because I never feel you get the true depth of any colour, even a super, super, super pigmented colour like this um, in one coat. But if you're in a real, real, real rush, base coat, one coat of colour, top coat, boom, out the door. How quick? I mean, obviously, you need to do all your prep as well, um, which takes a bit of time. But even just cutting out one coat of colour 
uh, and you could get away with it with Freya, but I would never recommend it. Uh, and I'm certainly not going to do that in this video. Uh, if you're doing bits and pieces on top, sometimes I think if it's a strong pigmented colour, like I can't say pigmented today, probably uh, my mouth is feeling a bit dry, maybe I need a drink. But if you're doing art, uh, stickers, foils, like I'm doing today and things like that on top sometimes with a, a super pigmented color like this one you could get away with one coat but I am always that person that thinks I've got to go with two coats got to get the true depth of color um, so you can see I start off painting around the cuticle get a nice neat cuticle line very much like I do when applying acrylic and then I pull the polish down the nail and then I go back to the other side get that pigmented the pigmented see i can say it now <laughs> when i don't want to uh, get that cuticle nice and neat and then just pull the product and paint it down the nail there's obviously there are differences in applying acrylic and applying gel polish but the technique is quite similar really when you think about it uh, and then i just use an orange stick just to tidy up any bits that i might have got on the skin she says uh, on the finger um, it does come off the silicone fingers really easily if you cure it on by mistake obviously you don't want to do that with actual skin um, you know we, you don't want to get any product on the actual skin um, so I try and keep the same sort of routine um, as I would if this was like my own nails or my sister's nails and that is cleaning up any any product that I do get on the skin um, I'm actually better at applying gel polish on actual people than I am on these practice hands. I know I've said that most times I've done a gel polish video. Anyway, that is the first coat down. I'm so blown away by the pigmentation of this colour, but we're going to pop in the lamp and cure for 60 seconds, and then we're going to go in with the second coat. Uh, and this is where you are really going to see the true depth of this color you might think on camera it doesn't look much different and honestly i found freya one of the hardest colors to capture when i did the swatches for the week um so all of the sort of the official swatch pictures that Gemma shares on the nail team and gems uh, and any videos of swatching she shares. They are all done by me every week, uh, for anyone who didn't know that. Um, and I don't do much editing in my pictures. I might just brighten them up a little bit just to um, sort of just to show you the actual colour as it is in real life but that is all I do I don't do much more in my editing uh, even with my design pictures that's all I'll do is just play around with the brightness slightly just so you can see the true depth of color the true color how it looks in real life this was the hardest one to do I actually had to do a little bit more work um, to get the true color and I think this particular this video here shows you the true real life color the best i managed to get it all week so this is what i was aiming for in all my other pictures it was hard i've never had a color that i've found so difficult to capture the true color um and i use all the same lighting and the same camera which is my phone for everything i've not changed the lighting my phone anything um i'm not quite sure what it was but maybe it was the skin color that i'm working against in this design but but i do comparison pictures and i have four fingers of different skin colors uh just to show how each color looks against different skin skin tones so i don't know this was a really hard one anyway while i was waffling on um, I cured my second coat of colour and now on the pinky and the index finger I'm going on with Dina Top uh, because I'm going to leave these two nails as they are just the beautiful Freya so I want to top coat them so I don't mess them up anymore and so I'm just going in with a nice coat of Tina Top and then on the middle two nails I am going to go on with the Gems Foil 
gel. Uh, so this is a little bit thicker than Tina, than the base coats, than the colours. Think more Felicity Flex, Builder Gel style thickness. Um, so I really do sort of work this onto the nail because I don't want it to be thick and gloopy and not cure. I don't want to add like thickness to the nail. So I really wipe off as much as I can from the brush before applying to the nail. And then if I feel it's sort of splurted either side of the brush, do you know what I mean? I'll wipe the brush off even more and then just use what's already on the nail. So you can see I'm really painting that down. Now I'm going to pop in the lamp and I'm going to cure these two for 60 seconds. While they're in the lamp, I'm going to prep my foil, foiled, foiled foil. Um, I find with these foils with a foil background, I want to wipe them with my alcohol, my wipe off, one of those things. The ones that are more uh, transparent backgrounds or sort of a film, they don't always need wiping. I just find with these foily ones, they transfer better if I wiped. And then I've scrunched it up in my hand to create a few cracks. Uh, and this is gonna help me get more of a cracked effect in the foil, not full coverage. I didn't want full coverage. Um, it's funny when I do want a full coverage I can't get it when I don't want a full coverage I get it really well uh, but here I'm just pushing it on all over the nail uh, just randomly there's three colors in that foil and I wanted to mix them up and now I'm gonna go in with a little bit more of my foil gel uh, just sort of in the middle of the nail um, I'm not sort of worrying too much about full full coverage here just just going in with a little bit which ended up being quite a bit in places because it's so so thick and then I'm going to pop in the lamp to cure again for 60 seconds and now I'm going to add a little bit more I've got this um, sort of oil slick iridescent foil and I've added some of that over top uh, and then I've just gone in and added a little bit more of that foil just to add a little bit more depth to the nail and I absolutely loved how these two turned out on my own nails which I took inspiration from I just used a sort of a coppery bronzy foil just use that I loved the mix and these colors with Freya now I'm going to go in with top coat on these two nails because they are done now you want to remember the foil gel remains tacky until you put something over top of it even through the foil, it can still feel a little bit tacky. So you don't, or sticky is probably the better word. So you really don't want to touch it, especially if there's any part of the nail the foil hasn't uh, stuck to. That's why I love the foil gel. If you want full coverage and you miss a spot, you can go back in and add a little bit more because it stays sticky. But it stays sticky until you put something not sticky on top, like Tina Top. So Tina's applied, we have fully cured for 60 seconds and this super simple foiled Freya design is done. It is probably a, the most simple gel polish design I've done on a video uh, since I started doing the colour of the week videos uh, and I love it. I think it is one of the best uh, because it is so simple. Um, the two the different foils give you really nice combination of colors that work really nicely with Freya and she is one of the most beautiful pigmented purples in the range the other thing I love about Freya is she goes beautifully with so many colors um Erin soft lilac beautiful paired with her I'll have a picture on my Instagram this week also with Lola or last week's colour of the week, Joanne. She goes really beautifully with them. And she also pairs lovely with Willow, the grey gel polish. Although I cannot do any designs like that because it reminds me too much of my school uniform from primary school because I had a purple jumper and a grey skirt. <laughs> um, so I can't be doing that. Uh, but she does love look lovely. So that is my introduction to the colour of the week, the fabulous Freya. Uh, please make sure you follow my Instagram or my Facebook because there'll be loads more designs on there throughout the week. Uh, and don't forget, for one week only, Freya is down to just £5 uh, a bottle. So if you're loving the look of this colour, now is the time to place an order because you can get her for just £5. 
obviously any other full price products at the nail team you can use my code helen5 for five percent off i'll be back tomorrow to introduce the color of the week but thank you so much for for watching please give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments what you think of this color and the design if you've not done so already please subscribe to my channel and that's it i will be back tomorrow bye Mwah.